Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I've got the whole place wood chipped and I really just wanted to walk around, highlight some key points, and move along for today. As I've been saying, all my annual veggies are dead. I'm still getting a few tomatoes, still getting some peppers, hot peppers, still getting basil, still getting piles of goji berry. So this whole nightshade guild is still quite productive even though the heat has killed off most of it. Wood chips have really added a nice layer to the whole food forest. I've allowed the chickens to come out here every day. They're working the forest floor eating bugs. Some high points are uh, the moringa. Got a moringa tree here that's now you know nine ten feet tall and the, the trunk is actually starting to get real woody. That's a pretty woody trunk. I mean, it's putting on some nice bark, a nice bark layer. So in one season, uh, this tree has grown tremendously and is even putting on some hard wood that I might be able to protect during the winter and keep it alive for next year. So half the tree might die off, but as long as I got a root system, it should be able to last me the whole year. Soil system doing good. I've got microclimates all over the place. There's all types of birds in here eating my berries, living in here. Um, but in between my rows where the mature canopy is starting to form, I've got a nice microclimate in between my tree and shrub layer where I'm growing herbs and more tomatoes. And I'm gonna be putting in some green beans and brassicas for fall coming up. High spot, I got my swales all worked out. Let me back up here and show you. I've got all the blackberries trained up. They're looking and working really well. Uh, raspberries here under the mulberry. Uh, looking a little, little, little cooked in the sun, but I think they'll come back. Uh, swales have been holding a lot of water. We've got a lot of rain lately. I really enjoy the wood chip layering though right now. Another high point I wanted to share with you guys is the sweet potato buckets. Large and in charge, strong. I'm working the vines into the forest floor and hoping that you know once again some slips will grow out of this wild edible sumac helping shade out some things jujube still looking good another high point i wanted to share with you guys i've torn down the uh, boxes that were here as you all know, I had three herb boxes. I literally just broke down the edges of the box, flipped them outside to act as a weed barrier. And now I've got three hoogle lumps here that next spring I'm going to plant some trees in. I'm going to get another jujube, an apricot, and maybe some pers uh, not persimmon. What am I thinking? Hmm. Pomegranate. Pomegranate will be a good one. I'm also going to be adding more elderberry to this corner here. It seems to get really wet. Wild edible. Beauty berry. It's doing really good. This plant looks great. It'll be putting on some really pretty uh, purple violet berries here in just another month or so. Jerusalem artichokes growing with it. Grapes. Nice little polyculture here. Plums in the back are doing good. Another cool high point was uh, the passion flower. So all this flowering mountain mint underneath my plums, but they've got passion fruit growing in them as well. Perfect example of, you know, a, a guild. I've got a centralized fruit tree, I've got herbs growing around the bottom of it, and then I've got a vine layer growing in the tree that's producing fruit. So no, those aren't plums, those are passion fruit but it's doing a good job trellising up this passion fruit, which as you can see, I let it grow wild. It's doing really good. I love passion fruit, great medicinal. Flowers are beautiful, brings in tons of good pollinators and you could process the fruit, make a nice fruit juice with it. So that's it for today's episode, guys. Wanted to hit some high points. Um, food, whole food forest is looking really good. Uh, like I said, I'm going on a little trip here, visiting some other YouTubers, keep in touch for the vlogs and content on that. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. God bless.